Miss Lola Wardinger. Oh. Mm. Hello, brother dear. Well, I made it. Uh, so what did you say, dear? I just asked how you were feeling. Well, I'm feeling fine, and you? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Oh, Mrs. Vance, may I present my sister, Lola? How do you do? How do you do? It's lovely to know you. Thank you. Uh, won't you come in? Thank you. Oh. Oh, Barbara, this is Lola. How do you do? How do you do? Well, it's nice to have a chance to meet you. I've seen your pictures in the paper, and I wonder what you look like. I wondered about you, too. Well, thank you. Uh, Lola. Yes, dear? This is Barbara's father, Mr. Vance. Mr. Vance is my sister. How do you do? How do you do? Well... <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, nothing, only I never would have known you from his description. Won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Uh... Did I interrupt something? Weren't you talking when I came in for... Will you excuse me, Mrs. Anson? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, it's me. Isn't that silly? <laughs> it's you, it's Tommy Mrs. Van. Look, I'll just put it over here and get it out of the way. Whoa! Oh, dear, dear. Gosh, I guess that could go on and on and on and on. I hope not. Go on with your story, honey. Yes, I was telling a story about my, uh, about our father. Oh, you were? Well, I don't want to be rude, but uh, may I have a drink? Certainly. I had three or four before I got here, but they're beginning to wear off, and you know how that is. Well, don't look at me like that. You like a little drink yourself. We call him Jerry the Nipper. He likes to sneak him when nobody's looking. So cute about it, too. I've seen him go along a whole evening and apparently not have a thing to drink and all of a sudden fall flat on his puss. <laughs> a glass of sherry, perhaps. Uh, will you get Miss Warner a glass of sherry? A glass of sherry? Excuse me. I don't like sherry. Oh, uh, Would you make that ginger ale, please? Ginger ale? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you again, Jerry. Now, what were you saying? Oh, uh, I was just telling one of Father's stories. You've heard it. Oh. Uh, you see, there was a minute to go. Dad had the ball and was a running... Ball? The ball? What ball? The football. Oh, but what in the world was Dad ever doing with a football? Look, I was uh, just telling a story about when Father was at Princeton. You remember the oh, yes, father. of course I remember. Pop loved Princeton. He was there nearly 20 years. If ever a man loved a place, he did. He just adored it. And he certainly kept it looking beautiful. You've seen the grounds, of course. Of course. Oh, <laughs> thank you, my friend. I'm afraid that Oops, my... Oops, doodly -doo. I'm so sorry. Here's your handkerchief. Well, thank you. I'm afraid that my sister has a somewhat distorted sense of humor. So have I. Uh, well, what she really meant to say was that Father presented the college with some of its finest landscapings. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, was I thirsty? Must have been that ham I had for dinner. Mine? <laughs> I think my brother's pretty swell, don't you? Oh, yes. He's always been pretty swell to me. I was working my head off at the Virginia Club, but the minute he started doing better, um, you know what I mean? Why, he made me give up my job and um, take a trip to London and Paris, and uh, I think that was pretty swell, don't you? What did you do at the Virginia Club? Oh, well, I did. I'll Barbara. tell her. It was a little act, a uh, kind of, um, well, it's a little hard to explain. Have you got any records? Records? Oh, oh, yes, yes, we have some records. Well, maybe if we... Say, wait a minute. Don't anybody leave this room. I've lost my purse. Why, here it is. Oh, well, am I relieved. <laughs> well, uh, where are the records? Oh, come this way and I'll show you. Uh -huh. 
Look, will you kind of keep an eye on that for me? Oh, here's my song. Would you like to have me do it for you? Well, no, I don't care. Okay. Oh, oh, look, you'll have to put that on. It's a little fancy for me. The one we've got at home, you just whine. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, well, I'm not going to do it the way I did at the club, if that's what you're afraid of. Think I'm a fool. Um, the number has some wind effects in it, but you'll just have to use your own imagination about them. I used to dream about a cottage small, a cottage small by a waterfall. But I wound up with no home at all. My dreams have gone with the wind. Get it? I'll never forget the way I did my stuff. I did my stuff, but you call my bluff. You call my bluff and show up. My dreams have gone with the wind. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Once my love and I would stroll beneath the sky. Hand in hand together. But now I'm all alone, and when romance has flown, there's bound to be stone me forever. Up on the pathway with me, though, I cast my dream. I never could do that, but now I know I'm out in the cold. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I'm so gone with the wind. Woo! Who are we going so soon? 